I'm Matt Francis, CTO of Working Mouse and Copots. Uh, so what advice would I give a, uh, a CIO or CTO looking to migrate onto the cloud? Uh, that would be try and get it right the first time. Um, there's not much point in getting an off-the-shelf piece of software that's not going to quite fit your business. Yes, you might save money initially, but you will lose money in the long run uh, as you have to keep putting up with the, the things that don't quite fit your workflow or your business rules. Well, it's just been my experience um, with off-the-shelf software that it, it does about 90 to 95% of the things you want it to do, um, and then you persevere, you make do um, with your with the other 5%. So, and, they, and that, that's obviously going to cost you money down the track. It's going to make maybe cost you staff in terms of the processes that you use. So, um, you obviously, if you have the money to look look for um, building new software, uh, then you're obviously doing quite well, and you're obviously doing quite well because you're, you have your business processes down pat that give you the edge in the game, so why not try and put those business processes into a custom piece of software that's going to, that's going to do well. If you're talking about an off-the-shelf piece of software, uh, you, may have, you may be locked into um, storage that you don't control, so you're then trading one set of problems for another, trying to get that data back uh, should you look to move on at a, at a, uh, at a later date. If you, get a custom, if you get a custom built piece of software, then you control the data, you control the software, um, and it's something that, um, you, know, that can, you can never be locked out from. I think the top challenges faced by um, CTOs and product managers when trying to migrate from the cloud uh, would be the size of the software that they're trying to migrate. Um, because it's so entrenched in their day-to-day -day business, it'd be very difficult to, um, to move across to another piece of software. Um, that's why we recommend using microservices, so taking small components out of that business process and moving them across gradually. I think the biggest challenge that we face uh, on per project is uh, data migration. Um, it's always underestimated by the client how, how tricky it would be to migrate from one system to the next. And I definitely think it should be tackled early, uh, investigated early, um, just so there's no surprises at the end of the project. At the moment, um, using microservices definitely helps people uh, equip themselves better for five to ten years time. So separating their product into smaller components uh, will make it less likely that they will uh, become will be in this, the same situation as they're in now. So the advice that I would give um, CTOs or any um, C-suite um, managers out there working with um, organisations that have shadow, shadow IT in place is that there is a place for it, but there's also a risk that's involved with it. So obviously if you have staff that have put in place third-party systems in order to to do their work, then that's a bit of a red flag uh, in terms of the limitations on your current um, policed or um, IT systems, if you want to call them that. So it's probably a, uh, a stand up and take notice um, type of uh, event um, that maybe your current IT systems aren't cutting it. The advice I would give to CTOs and product owners when formulating a strategy um, around their legacy systems is take stock of all of the products that you have within your organisation um, so you know all the cards that you're holding um, so that you can formulate a strategy that's going to encompass your entire organisation and hopefully solve a lot of your major problems. Uh, we take that database and we use our uh, legacy migration behaviour uh, and that, what that does is produce a model uh, and from that model we're able to, we're able to produce a schema uh, which we then use to create the database um, to use in the cloud. So but from that model we're then able to um, add um, new features, we're able to remove features, um, so it basically gives the customer a working application within minutes of running this, this um, uh, migration behaviour. If you're thinking about migrating your data into a cloud-based application, um, then it probably is the right choice. Uh, if, you, if you've come to the point where you think that your current systems are 
a problem within your business, then there's probably a good chance that they are if that makes sense.